everybody! Today I wanted to do a quick tutorial to show you how to add a border to an image in Photoshop. I specifically use this for my artwork and making prints, so in this example I'm going to use inches. This of course can work for digital files, in which case you would use pixels, but for this example I'm going to say that I would like an 8x10 print with the 1 4 inch internal border. So the 1 4 inch is going to be included in the size of the 8x10. An external border would be in addition to the 8x10, but for this we're going to say that the 1 4 inch border is included in the size of the 8x10. So once you have the file open, the first thing we're going to need to do is adjust the size of the image. So we'll go up to the menu bar under image and image size. You might need to uncheck this link here to make sure that you get the exact proportions that you're looking for, and then also select whatever unit of measurement you're using. So we know that we need to subtract 1 4th inch from each side. So 1 4th inch plus 1 4th inch is half an inch, which we're going to have to subtract from both the width as well as the height. So in our example with getting an 8x10 print, we are going to have it be 9.5 for the width and 7.5 for the height. We are now going to need to add a new layer from background. So if you go up to the menu bar under Layer, New, we'll select Layer from Background. Okay. And now we're going to need to adjust the canvas size. If you go under Image and Canvas Size, this is going to be the size of the total image or print. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to inches, and we are going to have 10 inches for the width and 8 inches for the height. And you can see that it kind of added a border here, but we need to add a solid fill color for that. So we are going to go under Layer, New Fill Layer, and Solid Color. It is automatically going to default to whatever color you currently have selected, but you can go ahead and select any color that you want here by dragging with the color picker, or you can enter the hexadecimal down here. I'll just go ahead and choose this teal. And now we're going to need to send the new fill layer to the back, as it's currently covering the image. So if you go under Layer, Arrange, and send to back, you'll see that it goes behind the image and we now have our 1 4 inch border behind it. You can change the color again by clicking on the teal here under Layers, and selecting whatever color you'd like. Alright, I hope this video was useful for you and thank you for watching!